Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, try it out on your own, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so we're told here that a circle centered at the origin has a radius of 10 units. So I'm going to draw my axes real quick, do a little sketch of a circle. So, got a circle, and we're told that the radius is 10. So, this is 10 right here. And it's centered at the origin, the point 0, 0. All right. The terminal side of an angle theta intercepts the circle in quadrant 2 at point C. That just means that there's some angle starts at the x-axis. We don't usually draw that. It's just redundant. We assume it's there. And the ending side, the terminal side of the angle, is in, is in the second quadrant. So it's going to hit the circle somewhere over here. And they call that point point C. All right. Now what do we know about point C? We know the y-coordinate is 8. We don't know the x-coordinate. So C is some point x, y, and we know that, well, we don't know x, but we know y. OK, what is the value of the cosine of theta? So this right here is theta. And that is not an angle that fits into a triangle, right? But one of the, the central tenets here of coordinate trigonometry is that we can drop what's called a reference angle right here, theta hat, and a triangle, an acute triangle, is associated with it to solve our problem. Now, we know that uh, the triangle has a height of 8 because it reaches the point C, and C has a height of 8. And we also know the hypotenuse is 10 because that matches the radius of the circle. The other side uh, is going to end up being negative 6 because we are including direction here. And I'm using the Pythagorean theorem. I'm saying, well, x squared plus 8 squared equals hypotenuse squared, so 10 squared. So x squared is 110 squared minus 64, which is 36. And then x is the square root of 36. And that could be positive or negative 6. Here we're going to take negative 6 because of the direction of uh, the triangle and the quadrant. And the cosine of, of theta can be found by looking at the cosine of the reference angle right here. Because, um, I, I don't know if there's an easy way to say that in a sentence or two. If you've got one, please let me know. But basically, again, we're redefining sine and cosine by looking at the coordinates on a grid. So essentially, this reference angle gets us, and this triangle gets us to the same point C that theta does itself. So it's going to get us the same value. And I would love to hear a better way of explaining that. Please share it if you've got it. But basically, the idea is that the cosine of that doesn't look very neat. The cosine of theta, right, is going to equal the cosine of our reference angle right here, theta hat. And that is going to equal, uh, it's adjacent over hypotenuse, negative 6 over 10, that ratio, which reduces to negative 3 over 5. And that's our answer, negative 3 over 5, which is choice 1. All right, hope that helped.